Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I've got another spooky store trip for you guys. So we go to Tuesday morning and also Big Lots and just a little bit more from at home uh, at the end of the video. Uh, yeah, so I was really impressed by Tuesday morning this time. Um, I haven't been there in a few years actually and they had some really good stuff. Lots of these like uh, ceramic pumpkins. I wasn't that crazy about those, but we're, we're getting there. <laughs> if you are, they definitely had a lot of them. Thought that owl was pretty cute. Uh, these books are really awesome. $6.99, and I love the one with the death head moth on it. Um, that's really cool. Now, they are very cheap feeling. Like, um, they're definitely... <laughs> I mean, if you set them in something wet, it would probably ruin them. <laughs> it's just a, I don't know, like a gift box is what it feels like. The neighbors have the good candy. Welcome to the Witching Hour. I kind of dug that sign right there. The Witching Hour sign had some nice colors on it. $25 for like a, I think that's actually a canvas um, bat picture. $14.99 for that witch picture. See, they had quite a bit. That Hocus Pocus cauldron right there is pretty neat. Um, yeah, that candle holder had a chip out of it. I mean, Tuesday morning, I don't really know the story with the store exactly. If they're, if they take like overflow from other stores like kind of like big lots I'm not sure if that's them or not but I don't know I thought it they had some really cool stuff it did you know $4.99 for that mug there wasn't anything wrong with that mug for sure that's pretty cheap for that um it just I don't know it just kind of feels like one of those stores that um that could be the case I'm not sure but just kind of one of those stores that you really want to check to make sure there's nothing wrong with what you're, you're getting. Like that, you know, like it might have a little chip out of it or something. Um, love that phrenology book. I mean, they look great. They're just kind of cheaply made. But it, it reflects that in the price, you know. Like it, it wasn't that expensive. Big packs of socks. $6.99 for those. I don't even know how many pairs that was. Um, bunch of wreaths. A Hocus Pocus one. And the one on the bottom is like, I don't know. It feels uh, kind of like, I don't know, kind of voodoo-ish. See, I think the wreaths are $30, which, you know, Michael's was $60. They're not as nice as the Michael's ones, but still cheaper lots of cool dish towels and you know they have these dish towels right here that's definitely a dish towel and the one beside it kind of looks like a hand towel for the kitchen but then below these right here those feel more like bathroom towels like um obviously they're not big enough to actually be a bath towel but they had a lot of the like thicker like fluffier towels which was nice i don't think i've ever even seen that before Witches and pretty dresses. Um, Jade the Libra calls them that. I totally just picked that up from her. But yeah, um, those are everywhere, it seems. Really cool potion bottles, I thought. They kind of look like they're made out of bone to me. Ten bucks, I thought that was pretty reasonable. And they have like pretty good detail on them. Snow globes. Big trick-or-treat sign. $50. So, not cheap, but I mean, it's way taller than me. And it's, well, and I'm like 5'3". Um, but, yeah. 
chip and dip bowl with it, the witch hat, some tablecloths, festive Halloween tablecloths, it says, uh, some cookie cutters, nice little dishware section. Several Day of the Dead things. I really like these two plates here. The Help Yourself. I almost got that. And then when I say two, um, there's one underneath it. I'll show in a minute that's different, but it's the same size. Those seem like a really good size. Nine nine nine. And then Silent Phantom Phantoms of the Night. That's kind of a different saying. You don't see things that say that often. And a cute little teacup right there for $10. Notice there isn't very many of like things. A bunch of different pillows. A lot of those are two packs also. Oh, I like that kitty cat one. I don't think I noticed it until now. Um, yeah. Bunch of nice blankets. Man, I really want one of these oversized throws. They seem to be everywhere this year. They're at Home Goods, and um, I think I, people see them at Burlington Coat Factory, but they're like bigger than the Target um, and blankets and like softer. But I just haven't found the perfect one yet. Those are some intense pumpkins right there. <laughs> and of course, everybody has like the animals dressed up. Um, one. Now this one was my favorite, the pumpkins and, and owls, and I like, you know, the pumpkin has like a scary face, you know, I always like the ones with the scary face, but <sighs> something about the owl was just a little bit goofy or something, I don't know, it just didn't hit me right. Mm, it was so close though. Party and skeletons in multiple colors. I really like this one too. Kind of a vintage Kit Kat pumpkin classic Halloween one. $20 for their pillows. Okay, now we are on to Big Lots. Which luckily was in the same parking lot as Tuesday morning. This is in McKinney, Texas, by the way. So, I know Big Lots has had their stuff out for a while. But I don't know if they're... Because they have that paper up there. So, are they just putting their stuff out? Or are they picked over? I'm not sure. Um, it had kind of the mystical, like... Um, you know, kind of witchy, palmistry, um, with snakes <laughs> kind of thing that a lot of places are doing this year. Six dollar candle. Wasn't really looking for candles, but if that smelt good, then yeah. Six bucks. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is, but it has like, it had like an on, off and on switch on the bottom. So I assume it lights up. Picture that plays the piano. Kind of neat, kind of different than just like the normal haunted house you see. That looks like $20. All this was already 20% off by the way. And uh, I forget what those are called, but yeah, that thing, it doesn't work, you know, you can't like make one side go down and one side go up or anything, but there it is. It's different at least. Too bad it is covered in very obnoxious glitter. Like I don't hate glitter, but look at my hands. That's ridiculous. Really cool tablecloth. So, tablecloths. Notice those are 52 by 70 inches. So, I bought one from there that was 
like 102 inches by 62 inches. And it was also $12. <laughs> so uh, just like the 50 inch ones, the by 72 inch ones. So yeah, I don't know if uh, the one I got was mislabeled or they're both just, it's still $12 even though it's bigger, but I guess I'll see. Uh, candle holders definitely trying to look like the um, Bath and Body Works candle holders, but they felt way cheap. <laughs> don't don't get excited. They felt pretty cheap. I wonder if I bought every skull with a raven on top of it how, that I ever saw. How many I would have? Just like, not not all of the same kind, just like every different one that I found. <laughs> I would probably have quite a few. I mean, I love the aesthetic of it, I, but yeah. So I'm not quite sure what this is trying to be right here. You see, it's got like fuzzy stuff in it. It looks like cotton in the middle of it. And I guess it's supposed to be like, maybe a little bit of smoke. Uh, those flicker, um, which is is good for Stacy or Spookums. <laughs> they, uh, I really liked those stackable skulls there. $25 for the haunted house. It doesn't have the bat projection like the Cracker Barrel one does. Cracker Barrel one was 30, I believe. These were interesting, kind of an industrial look. I mean, something different at least. And they have creepy dolls, which is kind of a a big loss thing for sure. And here is kind of the picture that I was talking about that has the haunted house and that's kind of, I feel like the normal picture that you see. I mean, there's different variations and stuff and I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just, I just thought the piano one was different for sure. Tombstone, some Happy Halloween signs, some paper plates if you need some paper plates. Oh man, I cannot believe I didn't get footage of it. So right behind me here, there is a tabletop, um, like a tabletop sign, and it's all like decorated with pumpkins and stuff, and it's supposed to say fall, but the L is an F, or sorry, the F is an L, so it just says lol. <laughs> Uh, it was pretty, pretty, maybe, I don't know. They need to mark that one like way, way down. Uh, I cannot believe I didn't take footage of it, but yeah, that one was, it was kind of funny. Um, kind of like that, that's an outdoor mat. I mean, I would want people like wiping their feet on it, but it's cool. Um, Lots of hey there pumpkin themed stuff and uh, I think the other one was like hey boo or something like that. $45 for the color changing LED witches. And we have a little light section. I remember when Big Lots used to be pretty good for lights. Of course, I wasn't actually crazy about the big lots I was in. I uh, liked the one over by my house, but it shut down this past year. I'm pretty, if I remember correctly, those pumpkins are singing Monster Mash. Cute little LEDs. I don't know what those are called, but they're neat. <laughs> Room projection lights? Projector something. 
Uh, notice they have kind of a green and purple light. That would be, I always love green and purple for a witch theme. Um, of course, even on the box, those kind of looked pink. I guess they didn't want to raise expectations. Battery operated stakes, um, which those are those candles up above there, kind of surprised me. Um, all right, so I did find just a couple new things at home that I wanted to show you. Um, yeah, uh, I ran in there real quick because I wanted to grab something that I've been thinking about for a while. And yeah, they had this big old animatronic Reaper guy that I hadn't seen before. Unfortunately, I could not find a price. Uh, same with the witch. Uh, Reaper, I definitely have not ever seen before. Not that style of Reaper with the like exposed um, rib cage and stuff. He's pretty cool. Uh, she looks like a thousand other witches that I've seen around. Uh, some new hand towels. And uh, I hadn't seen that pillow before. I don't even know what that is. I feel like maybe I looked at it in my last video, but I don't remember what it is. Yeah, so we're about done here. Um, I just want to thank you for watching and I do have another decor video out coming soon, a uh, decor hunting video, and I'm gonna try to get my haul videos actually filmed for you guys. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next spooky store trip.